Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to be provisioning a trial instance of Dynamic 365. As for the key module overview items, uh, we will be basically knowing a bit, of, a bit about the sign up process as to what are the key things to be considered before signing up. Uh, we'll go through setting up a trial instance provisioning of that. Uh, we will <clears throat> understand a little bit about Dynamic 365 apps primarily the CRM one, as that's what we'll be setting up during this process. And uh, I'll walk you through the, the whole process in the form of a demo, and at the end we will review the setup. Okay, as for me, I'm Yurish Arora, uh, an author, developer, and trainer uh, with 20 years plus experience with multiple certifications from Microsoft. You can reach me at yurisharora.com. So let's get started. Microsoft Dynamic 365 comprises of CRM apps and ERP apps. If you look at the top stack of four apps, sales, customer services, field service, project service automation, these are belonging to the CRM apps category, whereas the bottom four are the ERP application stack. We'll primarily be focusing on provisioning the CRM apps set up today. Now to start the trial setup, uh, this is the key URL that we need to know. It's trials.dynamics.com and we need to go there to start the trial process. Now before we start that process, we need to know what are the key things about the sign up that we should be aware of, uh, which is what I have listed here. So you get a, a subscription, a trial subscription for 30 days. It's a free trial. You don't need to put any credit card details while you're setting it up. You can convert this free trial subscription to a paid one at any time. And, and of course, you know, you can cancel it as long as you follow the agreement details as cancellation fee may apply for the paid subscriptions. Now let's uh, kick it off uh, the trial setup. So what I've done here is um, I've taken a few screenshots uh, to save uh, everybody's time because, uh, you know, sometimes the provisioning and entering the data could take some time. Uh, but at the end, I'll show you the provision instance here. So let's kick it off. Okay, so as I said before, uh, you know, you need to make a, a selection here first as to what sort of uh, um, stack you will be interested in, the CRM one at the top part. So you will probably select uh, sales to start with. Uh, and then you would go to uh, the sign up here option. You have to select this because we are going for a trial uh, selection. Okay, so then you will be presented with this option here. Are you a partner or a Microsoft employee? You just say no, continue signing up. You will be shown this uh, screen where they're going to be checking you to see if you have already got a uh, existing work or school email address uh, and if, if it is then you know a separate set of uh, instructions will be provided but in our case we we are starting um, without that so you'll be basically asked to create a new account as shown on this screen so you will basically click on this blue button here and then you will be presented with uh, another screen asking you to uh, present more information so you'll be basically entering first name last name business uh, phone number, company name. I mean, in this case, I've just put an evaluation uh, details there for a one person, and then you press next. You will be asked to provide uh, a verification uh, code. Before that, you need to enter your phone number, and then you press the button uh, requesting the verification code, which is when once you get it on your phone as an SMS text, you enter here and press to verify to able to continue to the next step. So in the next step, which is number three, yeah, you will be asked to put a business name. In our case, as we said, we are putting an evaluation address, so which is available in this case. You just enter that. Otherwise, it could be a business domain name. If you have one, you can enter that to match with uh, this setup from Microsoft uh, provisioning. Um, on pressing next, um, you will be asked to enter the first user ID details um, along with the password and then the press the button sign up 
uh, by clicking on the checkbox there for agreement terms and condition agreement acceptance okay so then uh, the moment you press the button sign up uh, it uh, starts the sign up process as you can see here um, it's provisioning signing up and you have to wait for uh, some time I guess probably you know a minute or two and then you will be presented with this screen saying thank you for choosing Dynamic 365 customer engagement plan and these are the details please save it in a notepad so that we can use it and this is the user ID we'll be using to log in to the provision environment now what happens here once you click on the get go there's still a final step for making the final selection of the business app the Dynamic 365 app that we initially discussed the four apps at the top four at the bottom we are talking about the four at the top here you are presented with an option like this one here with the default selection of sales uh, whereby you can actually select as to what will be what kind of application you're interested in uh, you could either select one of these or the other option is you have to select all uh, this is as a part of the trial provisioning is what I meant so you know in this case I have selected all and then you have to press the complete setup you you get a chance to, press, to select the currency um, in this case I've selected the Australian currency and after that you know in case you want to change it this has been taken as a default by the provisioning process but you can change it here and then you press complete setup now this complete setup could again take you know a few minutes and then once you're done um, after the setting up message you can then see the final screen now I'm going to quickly hop in to um, to see how, how actually that looks like so we're going to go to this place this is the provisioned instance which is what we've got it this is how you would see the landing page uh, once it's provisioned and when you click on this left uh, drop down this is what you see here it has actually provisioned all those four CRM category apps and, and if I click on one of it let's say customer service hub you can see the address there the one we, we gave during the provisioning this is what you get it here a landing page since I think we don't have the sample data yet so it's not showing us much of the data information but if I click here okay let's click here there you go so there's some sample data there okay so we have provision uh, a Dynamic 365 trial instance for 30 days trial with uh, all the four key CRM apps and let's go back to conclude our uh, um, this presentation details so what we have really done today is in this video we have gone through as to what is required for setting up a trial instance what is the sign up, sign up key uh, points what are the different apps available that you can provision in this case we chose CRM apps and I've given you a small demo in the form of slides and the actual presentation uh, of the provisioned uh, uh, environment I hope uh, all this uh, process was of, of great use uh, to you so again um, okay then thanks uh, thanks for watching